In an interview with Shirogo Miyamoto, at the time of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker came out, Shirogo said, Games don't necessarily have to feature realistic graphics in order to appeal to a wide audience. Some games these days seem to be trying too hard to go for photorealism, and it doesn't always turn out the way they want. When 3D games were developed in the beginning, developers tried for realism, but in many cases it ended up looking odd and mishappen. When Valve tried to approach realism with Team Fortress, which started as a mod for Quake, they slowly realised that they weren't getting what they wanted out of it, and with that, the players weren't too interested. When they returned to make Team Fortress 2, they took another approach, a more stylized look. The quality and difference was noticeable from the beginning. You could see the details without being overwhelmed by them. Without even playing the game, you could already see the personality each and every character had. But with the original title, the characters felt dull and almost robotic. There was now heart in the team shooter, and with that came great love the players grew towards it. Hello, Miss Pauling. We killed everybody and took a briefcase. Not everybody, soldier. You left seven witnesses, guys. Six. Does that mean stylized aesthetics are better? Well, no. In fact, both are just as good as each other, and it's up to the developers to research what is best suited for their game, and for the player to understand that realistic graphics is just as good as stylized graphics. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so that you can be notified when I release a new video. Thank you.